a urinal in an art gallery, an anonymous woman on the London Underground, the coronation of Napoleon Bonaparte, a tribal king in Ghana, and a squirrel named Shadowtail. How are these things all connected? Well, to find out, you'll have to read my new book, Are You Getting This? Robert Ferguson is the intrepid host of Hillsong Channel's much-loved What Do You See? and the eponymous mind behind teaching with Robert Ferguson. Serving as the teaching pastor of Hillsong Church, Robert has trained thousands of budding communicators and preachers from around the world in the crafts of public speaking and storytelling. Teaching and preaching now for over 45 years, Robert's signature style which fuses his extraordinary life experience with science, history, and profound biblical insight means that he has something for everyone to grasp, learn, and apply to their own personal journey. To be honest, I'm a little uncomfortable with a promo like that. Of course, it conveys information, but how could it be improved? What if better words were used? Maybe an illustration or perhaps a story? That's what this book is all about, storytelling and the art of effective communication. It explores questions like, why do we tell stories? And why is the fear of public speaking at the top of our list of fears? And how do we conquer it? For a teacher, there is nothing better than to help someone overcome challenges, to help people grasp an idea, to understand a concept, to see them get it. That's why I called this book, Are You Getting This? It's a phrase I use all the time. Getting this is my passion. But there's another reason I wrote the book. I know what it feels like not to get it. The frustration, the sense of failure, the shame even. Look at this. It's the actual pen I used in a computer class in 1968. I'd never even seen a computer, let alone used one. I didn't understand computing. I didn't get it. It has bite marks on it, just like the one on the screen, but perhaps not as bad. That's how I felt. And I don't want you to feel the same way. Hence this book. Maybe you're a father struggling to teach your son to drive or a business person attempting to share a vision with your team or perhaps a budding preacher, or a mum trying to help your son tie his shoelaces, trying and possibly failing. Each one of you is a communicator. So there's an idea in this book that will help you in some way. There is a this for you to get. The book is filled with life lessons and practical tips. It contains principles that you can easily apply and simple steps that you can take. Although it's my personal roadmap, I think it can make your journey easier and better. Let me give you one example. In 1976, to complete a degree in zoology, I was required to work with snakes. I had to take their temperature every day. I was terrified. So what did I do? I needed a fire to overcome my fear, an inner conviction about learning, a passion that was even greater than my fear of snakes. In 1977, when I became a teacher, I was equally terrified of public speaking. So I applied the same principle. I discovered that my desire to see people get it was greater than my fear of teaching. My inner fire overcame my fear. Now, of course, I do everything I can to help people find their fire. And I think this book can help you find yours. But that's just one of 20 big ideas in this book. Would you like to know about the gift of discovery? How to tell stories better? or how to find your life purpose. This book will answer some of those questions and will also explain what the urinal was doing on the wall of an art gallery. 
and how a squirrel named Shadowtail can help you. Are you getting this? I hope so.